Look at that, folks. <laughs> wow. That was a good size. That is not bad, folks. So up everyone, novice angler here. Look at me with my baby face going. <laughs> yes, my wife wanted me to shave after several years. Anyway, we're back out here at our favorite little pond. Uh, it's been about a week since I've been out here, but uh, this time around I want to try something new. I want to try drop shotting for bass. Uh, they said uh, that another good way of trying to catch bass is a drop shot. Um, it'll be on a new rig. I've never tried uh, this before. I just picked it up the other day. Anyway, let's give it a shot, see what we can do today. Well folks, this is what we have today as our setup. Again, like I said, it's going to be a little bit different and today we're going to try reversing things. Uh, Basically, this is the drop shot. I have a little quarter ounce bank sinker. And this is the, called the KVD swing shot. As you can see, the hook itself is actually on a swivel. So I guess that pretty much prevents it from getting a line twist. But I thought it was a pretty interesting concept. And, and I never tried this. I saw it the other day and I thought it was pretty cool. Which is the Swing Shot by KVD. See how well that actually turns out, huh? And this time around for the flute, for the flute rig, I think I want to try hot dogs. I caught maybe about four catfish in my time using a bobber. Let's see if we can do it. It's like do it today. Hey, what's up, Ben? I just started. Oh, something keeps stealing my minnow. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch it up to just uh, using the regular drop shot and see if we can catch this catfish. And uh, yep, give it a shot with my normal drop shot here. There it is. Yep. Nice. Yeah. First one. This was on a hot dog. Oh. Oh yeah. Wow. There's a catfish. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah, he is. <laughs> oh, nice. That's awesome. That was a good size. Catfish. I know. Nice size kennel, channel cat. 
probably weighing about eh, about a couple pounds maybe caught it on the hot dog and a bobber easy there we go good size catfish first one of the day using a bobber and a hot dog well see if we have better luck fishing from the bank than we did from the docks you know, let's try the stink bait out no, we did okay last time using it. See how well we can do today using it. Yep, I see a turtle right over there. Big one. I think I caught something. Yeah, Alan. <laughs> On the stink bait, folks. Whoa, there we go. <laughs> That's a small one. There we go, folks. Still a pretty good size, though. So it's probably about a pound. Definitely one of the smaller ones that we caught since we've been fishing out here. Okay. Sorry. Oh, there we go. Two catfish so far. Oh. Not bad, 40 minutes into it, cut ourselves two catfish, one on a float with a hot dog, the other one is on the little turd nuggets. But surprisingly, nothing yet on the minnows. Well, maybe today is a day of catfish, huh? So far, zero action on the minnows, which is surprising. <laughs> Close four, so the pull twitch, maybe it's just a win. Whoa, that's not the win. There we go. <laughs> wow, no more than a couple minutes that I threw it out there. Oh, we caught me even one. <laughs> there you go, folks. Wow, the listing baits are working out a lot better than the hot dogs. Look at that, folks. <laughs> wow, that was a good size. That is a very good size blue. Ow. Look at that, folks. Oop, oop. <laughs> That's a good size blue. No more than two minutes after I cast it. Ah, oh. probably about three pounds.
there we go folks not bad there we go third one yes Oh, no, it's a lot more fun when you're actually catching it than just scooping it out. But there we go, folks. A good, about three, three pound catfish. They're getting bigger. Yes, they are. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. There we go, folks. Uh, trying to, and I'm just recording when I'm uh, catching something. But yeah. It's called the Novice Angler. Uh huh. Thank you. You too. Oh, well, there we go, folks. Caught three catfish and possibly a new subscriber. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, I'm just going to go with the old-fashioned worms for a time being since it's been an hour and I haven't caught anything using minnows, so. I'll be amazed if I can't even catch me one bluegill on the worm. I guess today is the day of, uh, wow, that's actually a pretty good size, actually. Good size of this, guys. That is good size bluegill. Hold still. Easily about seven inches. That's definitely a, one of the better size that I've seen. Not bad, folks. <laughs> well, I guess uh, it's a day of uh, catfish and maybe bluegills. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, we spent a good two hours, a little over two hours, out there at our favorite little park. Um, first half hour, we sp uh, tried using the KVD twist shot. Didn't have any luck on it. Something keeps stealing the minnow, so I'll definitely try it again. But we just didn't land anything. Uh, and we caught ourselves uh, three catfish, two on the stink bait, and only one on the hot dog. Uh, between uh, hot dogs and uh, the stink bait, well, I was catching a lot more action on uh, the stink bait. And in fact, I landed uh, two out of the three catfish that we caught was on the stink bait. And of course, that one little bluegill. I don't know why, um, in almost every single video that you see people trying to use the stink bait, they never catch anything. <laughs> well, maybe it's just my luck. Anyway, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you guys do, please give me a like, subscribe. And uh, let me know what you want to see. Talk to you later.